Hi, dear friend. I'm excited and grateful that we meet again. And welcome to another episode of ABC Useful Tip. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Classroom in your handphone, right, to communicate with your students and can organize and to assign any assignment or material to your students in a very quick way while you're on the mobile, all right, to do your remote teaching. All right, you'll be able to set up Google Classroom easily on the handphone. Alright, new classrooms for the new term and also to be able to import your material um, assignment or even notes okay from your previous classes all right easily from the touch of your fingertips in your class in your handphone all right and also we'll be able to at the end of the video i'll show you also how to create a new questions in your handphone very easily step by step all right such that it will be able to post any question to your students at any time even just before the lesson all right so stay right in and if you like this video and would like to be first to be notified of future video please click subscribe at the bottom click the bell so that you'll be notified anytime and also give us comment okay and so now we will dive right in first step is to get into either the app store or the google play to find the google classroom app all right so we look for search click on search and all right just type in Okay, Google Classroom. There you go. Google Classroom, click on that and you will find this app here that has the Google Classroom. Okay, I've already downloaded before, right? I'm going to show you the whole step again. Right, just download in according to your handphone. Okay, so I'm going to download that again. Okay, it will take some time and then we'll come back in. Once download is complete, you will have this uh, open sign um, panel uh, on the right side okay click on this word open okay and then google classroom will be open here and it's the first time you get in here in the handphone you will be shown this get started box all right so we just have to click and go ahead next is to click on your teacher's gmail account all right to set up the google classroom to sign in to the google classroom once you successfully sign into your Google Classroom uh, that you have signed up for or you have created right in the past as a teacher, right, you will come to this panel and we'll show you all the classes that you already have created. Right? But nevertheless, uh, now we'll still show you step by step how do you create a uh, new classroom altogether. So to create a new classroom on a handphone, right, it's similar. You just got to look for the plus sign at the bottom, right? There is to add classroom. Click on that, and then you will be creating a new class, alright. So if you are G Suite account, you will jump straight into a new class. Otherwise, you just click continue to create a new classroom. Okay. So let's say I create a G class room twenty twenty one. Okay. I'm starting a new classroom for the next coming new term. All right. So from this new term, I can actually import some of our previous class uh, items, like for example, notes or certain unfinished homework or something like that. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to show you step by step how do you do that here in the handphone. Okay. Similar uh, to the PC at the bottom, you will uh, PC will be on top. At the handphone, you will see in the bottom where you have stream class work. All right, and you also have people. Okay, yeah. So we will be inviting students to join our new class. But before that, let's get prepared with the materials. Okay, so to add in or to import uh, notes from the previous class is pretty simple. Look for this plus sign at the bottom right hand corner. Click on that. Okay, look for reuse post. Click on reuse post. Okay, look for the class that you had all the old material in, which is G Classroom 2020. Click on that. Okay, and uh, just prepare for this particular importing. I have the learning notes which I'm going to import first. Okay, so you click on this learning notes. All right, and they will ask you to create a new copy of it. All right, so you click on new copy. New copy will be generated, and this is going to be in be generated in your new classroom. All right, you can make any changes according to the need for this particular year. Like for example, change it to 
2020 20 or okay no for example we can change it to from 2020 okay all right yep so uh and you can actually choose to select whether do, do you want all class students or certain number of students okay all right and you can actually make a description all right relevant notes for 2021 cool so if everything is ready okay you may also like to change this topic okay but because the topic is similar i want to keep it consistent notes okay it is they will draw the copy same topic from the previous class all right that you imported from so if it's the same then you just like sit down okay and you can post it up Right, so this is in your classwork and in the stream, which is according to chronological order, you will see it right on top. All right, in classwork, it will be according to the, in according to the topic that you have chosen. Okay, for that particular item. Okay, the next thing we'll learn is to invite students into this new classroom. All right, there's uh, three simple steps that we'll be showing you. All right, so in the people that you will see at the bottom, when you click there's no student, all right, the first way that you can get students into your classroom is to click on this invite button in the bottom, okay, and if you have the student's email address, okay, so click on the button, all right, and then you can from here just invite any student, okay, by typing in their, um, email address then subsequently click on the type the student's email and send an invite this is way number one all right and the student will get this invite in their email address all right the faster way all right is to give them the code for the class all right so that they can just straight away type in and be uh is admitted into the classroom though so when you get that you click on stream at the top at bottom left hand corner okay and go to this top right hand corner okay setting this button on the top right hand corner all right and then right, right at the bottom you will see class code here click on class code and then it will be a copied they okay, send this class code in any form that you want email whatsapp the message to your student or just flash it okay in class all right and then they will be able to key in and enter. All right, I'll show you that to uh, the student's view to you. For instance, if uh, this student T here, all right, is the first time he's going to join the Google class, right? So in this case, what they will do is they will click at the bottom right hand corner to join a class, this round plus button, and click join class. Right, and then they will key in the code that you give them or show them. I've already pasted it. Okay, so this is the code for that class. All right, so just after keying in the code, they will click join at the top right hand corner. Join. Okay, if it's the right code, immediately they will be admitted into the class. Okay, which is G Classroom 2021. The notes is already there. Cool. The third and last method, which is the new feature of uh, Google Classroom, is through a copy link, all right, and invite link. Okay, so that invite link can be found in the same place, the setting on top right hand corner of the class. Okay, this setting picture here, click on that, and then right here, an invitation link, all right, you will see that, e that link, okay, that address, all right. So you just have to click on it to copy that invitation link. All right. Another way you can find this link is to go into people, right okay, there at the bottom right hand corner, people, okay, and then when you click on the human at the student, the student word on the right hand side, this people, the human plus, if you plus, you will see the link, invite, the class invite link here. You can also make a copy by clicking on the copy link, all right. So we'll go into the student's view to click on the link. Once the student receives your message with the link to the classroom all right the student just have to follow the instruction you may type this instruction in your message to click on the link to join the classroom they just have to click and immediately they will brought to be brought into the classroom environment and this panel will come out to ask them to join so they just need to click on the blue button in the middle join class 
okay immediately the class will be opened up for them all right and they will be in this particular class in their google classroom all right cool this class is open uh they they is joined is open for them and they have already joined the class all right back here at teachers panel you can even click on the people at the bottom right hand corner right and you update it okay if you don't see you can update by just pulling it down all right and then you will see all the three students all right that i have invited all right and now i'm going to show you how in simple steps to create a question just for introduction to a starting of the class right to to lift up the spirit of the class okay so very simple how do you set up a question okay go to classwork okay right at the bottom you will see this plus sign click on the plus sign all right there will be this item called question at the third item just click on the question okay and then you can give the title how uh, you all right for start of a class okay you can click, then after that click on the description and cut type in your question all right um, how it, no okay in a sentence describe how was your weekends all right cool so something like that all right just to lift up the spirit okay so you the, just to make sure this is a short answer in the middle is indicated there and then you may want the un, the students to be able to edit their answer by clicking this item on the right to make sure it's blue okay once it's done all right no question no marks for it just click unmarked for the marks all right and then you can ask the question that's how simple it is to ask a question in google classroom all right for the students to give you a short answer all right if you want to see how it looks like in the stream just go over to the stream at the bottom left okay the answer the question is on top all right you can also create an mcq question all right the one something similar to the middle one here all right and um, this mcq question you will be able to uh, see in the next video at the click at the end of the video all right thank you okay cool so if you like this video and you would like to be not first to be notified of future video all right please click subscribe at the bottom or click subscribe in the middle this circle button all right and um, click the bell so that you'll be the first hand to be notified of each new videos and i look forward to seeing you again take care